come to this new video. Today, we will uh, talk how to create a new data stream and connect uh, your Salesforce CRM with Data Cloud. Data Cloud, which is a new product from Salesforce that will allow you to uh, manage your data and understand it. So you have two types of data. Uh, you will be able to select uh, your platform, your CRM, and then you will have what we call data bundle. So it's like templates, basically, and object. So here we will choose uh, an object. I will choose the user from the CRM. So I click user here, for example, and then I will click next. And in this step, I will have the possibility to choose um, like the, the field that I want to use. So I will just use full name. And after that, I will be able to choose what category of uh, data it is. So in this case, it will be a profile. So, uh, so the field required for primary key is, okay. So I will need to use a uh, user ID as well. So I need uh, um, contact. Contact ID. I will need to use what is related for as a primary key. The field used for the primary key is related in the selection. User ID. Okay. So I will just remove contact ID. So basically, they say here the field that you need to absolutely select in the field. The system. Okay. So they tell you there is another field, system mode stamp, that is required. And here, uh, like you will be able to select your data space. So for those who know Marketing Cloud is like a business unit is where uh, you would store like a specific brand or a specific region for a specific team. Um, if your team access all the data and there is no need for segmentation, you can use default. And here you can give it a name. So uh, I would say Salesforce CRM user. And uh, now I will be able to click on deploy. Okay. So I will wait a few seconds and I should get the information ready to go. So as you can see here, what is happening, last run status. Uh, what is happening here is that I have an overview of the field that I'm importing from Salesforce CRM. I have also the type of uh, object category, which is profile, and a range of other information. So as soon as I create a data stream uh, within Data Cloud, I will automatically create what we call a data source object. So my data stream become a data source, and then I will also create um, like a data lake object, which is where we store the data. Um, what is interesting is that I, will, that I will have the possibility to add some formula field. Um, so for example, I would just create one and we will call it full name uppercase. So let's say I want my field um, to, to be in uppercase, like the name of like the user, um, name uppercase. Then what I will do is uh, I will create a formula field. I can create some formula field directly like this, which is quite interesting. Um, and here I can have a function. So a function, uh, for example, text, and I will just do an upper, upper function. So here I, I have upper text, I replace text, text, and let's say I'm right, I write my name as full name. If I test it, up, oh, it will be in uppercase. So this is just an example to show you uh, the type of new formula field that you can create. Uh, and this will allow you to have more information. And as soon as you create this new field, as a new formula field on Data Cloud, on your data source uh, object, it will be automatically created within uh, within uh, within like your data lake. So here I will just do a run just to make sure. And once I've done that, I should have a new field created into the data lake. I should have a new object. So as you can see here, I have Salesforce CRM user. So I don't have a record, but like what's important to show you is like how it, how it works. And here, as you can see, I have, it's like the same, I use my data source object, but now it's stored into a data cloud. Uh, and after that, I will have to map it to my data model object, which will be uh, the individual object in order to use it into the segmentation or the activation. Um, so I can click here on the start mapping. And here I will be mapping uh, my Salesforce CRM user object with an object from my data model. So if I, I need to select my uh, my data model, and here I will search for individual. Individual is like your main object within Data Cloud. So I click down. Okay. So as you know, full name will be directly mapped to the uh, person name. But in order in order to uh, to validate the mapping, I will need to map the user ID as well. So I will need to find what the user ID um, individual ID up. So as you know, user ID, which is my primary key uh, within my dat data lake object and also data source object will be mapped to the individual ID uh, that is my primary key within data cloud. So I can click save. And here, 
data cloud will match and map uh, my uh, okay uh, data cloud will uh, map my information directly so we just click save and close and now it should be uh, correctly mapped okay so this seems to be correct i just had a small warning because i, I don't have data i guess so this can happen uh, but now as you can see my salesforce crm user are mapped to uh to my data model object and now i have an individual object as you can see and here i will be able to see what i've mapped to my uh, what are the different data stream and data lake object that are mapped to this specific individual object. So this is quite interesting. Yeah. Um, what I can see now, and I think it will be in Data Explorer. Will it be data model object? Yeah, individual. So here I should be able to have a view of uh, like the way the data is mapped. Is it here actually? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's not. Or maybe I cannot see it because there is no data that is imported, I think. Yeah, so there is no data that, uh, that are imported yet. So uh, so I will have to uh, maybe to refresh it. And, and maybe I think it can take up to uh, 24 hours or to, to process the data. But what's important is to show you how it would work. And here I will have the ability then to create a new segment. And I will just show you how to create this new segment. So here I can create a segment on the individual and a full name. Um, individual uh, name. So here I'm creating a segment on the individual name, for example. And here I have two options. The option to publish the data now, or um, either I, I publish it rapidly and I will get the last seven days, or I do a standard publish a bit longer. Uh, but I have two years back of data. Uh, here, public schedule, I don't want to refresh it. And here, my segment will be created uh, within Data Cloud. So this is how you can create a uh, data stream uh, with um, data cloud and following the process of um, creating the data source object, the data lake object, and mapping the data lake object to the um, to the data model object, and then using a segment based on that. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, please let me know. And thank you.